All right, I run out of patience. On to Ruse! Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the vault. Tomorrow is the big Spider-Man drop. I wanna make sure everybody's prepared for it. So we're gonna go over a few uh, extra little tips to make sure you know exactly what you're doing tomorrow and what your strategy is. Before we get started though, I do wanna mention that as of today, this YouTube channel is now monetized. So thank you to everybody out there who subscribed to my channel and thank you to everybody who watched my videos. Now I don't expect, I don't know how monetization works much on YouTube and I don't expect it to be a lot of money, maybe 10 or 20 bucks a month. But as VV grows, so will this channel and we'll all grow together. And so will the value of our collectibles. So let's go. All right guys, I'm sure by now everybody's seen the five collectibles that's getting dropped tomorrow. Actually, if you go to the YouTube channel for VV and you look at their video, which is really short, it shows the actual animations that will come with the ultra rare and the secret rares NFTs tomorrow's. Of course, the big question is, which one do we go for? Now, personally, I think I'm going to be brave and go for the secret rare. I usually do go for whatever's the rarest. And, you know, my success rate is probably 50% or lower, but I'm willing to take that chance. If you want a more sure bet, you probably want to go with the ultra rare. That's still in itself going to be hard to get, but you have a much better chance than the secret rare. If you're following all these tips and tricks and you have a decent internet connection, you should have no problem to get that ultra rare. You should be above 50% chance to get that ultra rare, I believe. Okay, some people noticed on David Yu's Instagram yesterday, and I tweeted about it myself, that he said that this was a time delay drop, and it even says in the description that there's some type of time sensitivity here, but when we asked about it in the Discord, the community manager, Noah, said that David Yu was just trying to say that this was going to be sold out really fast, so maybe we got Yu'd again, I'm not sure, but I don't think that there's actually going to be some type of timer where once it ends, you can no longer buy the Spider-Man collectibles. So I wouldn't worry about that. It's also very important to note that in the Medium article, they pointed out that there's a new percentage that is taken out of secondary sales for Marvel NFTs. You can see here that they changed the percentage and added the 2.5% to the new, I think it's 6 or 6.5%, and it comes out to about 9% of your sales. So if you're selling something for $100, they're going to take out $9 of that, and you'd get 91 And when I've sold on eBay for the past eight or nine years the percentage is always nine percent comes with pretty close to that between nine and ten percent so this is pretty normal to me and it doesn't bother me much and I'm sure it was part of Marvel's contract when they signed up to sell their collectibles on BB. okay getting down into the specific tips and strategies for tomorrow's drop if you haven't watched my vi last video that gives an outline of what to do and when to do it make sure you check that out it might even be smart to write down a little checklist for the 30 minutes before drop and the 10 minutes before drop to make sure you go through every step and prepare your phone and your internet service i did mention gateways in my last video and there was that secret gateway that i said i wasn't allowed to give out yet but the person who gave it to me said i could go ahead and tell you guys but before i do i should warn you that when i tried to use it on the lucky drop it froze my timer at about two seconds and i thought that was just some type of glitch on my phone that just was random but then when I mentioned this to somebody else on Twitter, they said that they had the same problem and that this gateway is dead. So I don't know if gateways can be dead, but I actually wouldn't suggest using this gateway, but I will give it to you. And that's instead of clicking on the wish list button on the NFT you want to go for on drop day to put it into your wish list, the button next to that is the share button. You can share it to the feed and then go to your feed and access it from there. And that's a new gateway. But like I said, it doesn't seem like that gateway is very effective. It might have some kind of lag or it might freeze your timer. So I'm actually going to use the new listings gateway. That's what I've always used. And the five newest NFTs that are going to drop tomorrow will all be at the top. So I'll have no problem going back and forth between NFTs to get the ones that I want on drop day. Another important note I want to make for this technique that I'm using in drops right now, a line gate where you line up the buy now button with the error message so that you can click them both really fast is that if you're clicking too fast, and this is especially for people who try to use auto clickers, which I've been hearing about a lot, if you're clicking too fast or even you start clicking maybe 10 seconds before the drop starts instead of two or three seconds, too many clicks can get you kicked out of that app. So you need to set a good pace and not start until about four, three, or two seconds left on your timer then line those up and start clicking from there. 
another drop tip that I mentioned in my last video was putting your phone into airplane mode and I said that I had never tried it before and I wasn't sure if it worked or not but since then a lot of people have told me that this is a good tip you can put your phone into airplane mode then after it's in airplane mode turn your Wi-Fi back on and that's gonna shut down a lot of back-end processes that you don't see and make your phone just run a little bit faster and could help you on drop day just remember to take your phone off of airplane mode when drop day when the drop is over all right guys I'm assuming most people have seen this as well but I'm gonna go ahead and go through it real quick it's the news article that was released on comicbook.com and we asked the community manager of VV in the discord about this and we said is this a leak is this real and he said it's not a leak it's a news article so it is real and it talks here about the Marvel comics when they're going to be released and it even says the 1939 original comic book is one of the covers that will be released and it says that there will be blind boxes which is interesting and some people are wondering about that price of $6.99 why is it so low for uh, Marvel comic books but if you think about it and it's in a blind box maybe you get 10 in the box and at $6.99 each the box is $69.99 which is a decent and regular price for something that you would buy on VV on a drop day so I'm excited about those I'm wondering if there's gonna be a limit to how many we can purchase but it's gonna be probably random where you get maybe four or five commons and one uncommon rare or ultra rare depending on how many they put in each box if it's 10 maybe you'll get eight commons and two rares who knows and then they go on to talk about Marvel month on VV and how they're gonna have all these new Super D figurines which include Captain America Steve Rogers which I'm not sure who Steve Rogers is Sam Wilson John Walker I don't know a lot of these guys but they do have Red Skull and I know who that is so this is Marvel month for VV and you can expect that uh, there's gonna be a lot of Marvel collectors hearing about it the spider-man account just tweeted about the spider-man drop tomorrow and the official Marvel Twitter just retweeted VV's tweet about the Spider-Man drop. So you can expect some new users to be on board and a little bit more competition on drop day. So make sure you're going through all these tips and getting your connection just right so that you can get the Spider-Man that you want. Alright guys, before I go, I did want to note that at the bottom of yesterday's Medium article, they pointed out that because of the new fees that they're going to be adding to the Marvel collectibles, they have to do some market maintenance to write that code in, I suppose, and that the market will actually be down for almost 24 hours tomorrow. So it's going to start at the regular time, about 15 minutes before drop time, but don't expect to be able to sell your Spider-Man collectibles that you get during the drop right after the drop. It's probably going to be down the rest of the day. So keep that in mind, and good luck to everybody in tomorrow's drop. It's a big one. Go for that ultra rare. Go for that secret rare. Get the one you want. Keep a positive mindset, and you might be able to pull it off. Good luck, everybody. See you next time on The Vault.